Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the Dart 250G and I really like this plane. It's running a SearchD co-pilot and the camera for that which I mixed on. It's kind of good but also the lens is a problem. If you had a different lens it'd probably be alright. And I've so far been running it on my own homemade 2S lithium ion packs on the bigger propeller. And the problem is, it's a bit weak. Um, it's not great, to be fair, I tried to play it the first time on a little three blade and it was horrendous. Um, I'm now on the proper prop for 2S, but I just want a bit more go for launch and just to get climb height when I want it. So I want to have a look at wearing this to three cell. Now, last time I flew this, I actually had this battery all the way at the front. As I've just learned by trying to test the CRG, which I can't do because at the minute one hand's holding the camera. It's nose heavy at that, so trying to then go and stick this just makes it ridiculously nose heavy and barely fit. Now, I've seen this as being quite a common issue. Um, for example, uh, Matthew Ogborn um, has his so that his Matex he uses by now, which I don't seem to be able to get on with well. He has it here, which I know is a problem because it's away from the CFG or whatever, but personally I've not had issues, a lot of people say they haven't had issues. Is it good to get near the CFG if you can? I think so, you should probably do that if you can. But to be honest with you, <coughs> not really had much issue. And to be fair, this one has had so many sort of weird and wonderful issues with the with the gyros, I'd be really, really, really low on the sensitivity on the ailerons. And, and the elevator needed me to turn up a bit, maybe putting it forward, law of levers and stuff, I don't, know, I don't know, might actually work out so they run the same gyro on the ailerons and the elevator. But our right, ideas, as you can tell, I've already ripped out the Velcro. I've actually ripped the Velcro out twice. I ripped it out in preparation of doing this. Never did want to fly, put the Velcro back in and just flew it on 2S again. Again, a lot of fun. So what we're going to be doing... Is there like a fly in there? Or is it like a black, oh, there's a black thing on my screen. I was like, it's like a fly in the plane. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to try and clear out some of this super glue snot. We're going to move this as far forward as possible because in order to get this battery to fit because I've done it by laying it on top the battery has to go about there actually a little bit further, like there so in order for us to be able to do that I also need to move that flight controller um I'm just trying to see now we can't move it back because the foam behind here is on a slant which obviously isn't good for a gyro um, so, yeah, it's going to have to be moved forward, clip all the super out, move it forward, and then try and get the battery to slot in behind here. It might mean a little bit of foam cutting. But, we will set to that. And the only thing that's, that has changed with this since it was built is it's now on Crossfire instead of R9. And uh, But yeah, otherwise it's exactly the same. So, I will start flaking off some of the super glue and we'll get right at it. Okay, so I've managed to get most of the glue out. Ironically, I then had to get some more glue to glue some bits back in. Um, but um, some bit of foam that came out, because annoyingly it's right where the Velcro is going to go to hold the battery in. So it's kind of important. Um, what we're going to need to do next, of course, is a look at moving the actual uh, flight controller. Now, I'm not sure what has the shortest lead, because obviously we've got the... GPS, the S bus in, and the three channels coming out of it. So, this hasn't been stuck in very well. The actual flight controller, I keep on pressing in every time I fly it to re stick it. But, yeah, you see, 
I really didn't need much to move it. So let's just see how far forward I can extend it. And what's the shortest thing? The shortest thing was one of the elevators and ailerons. In fact, the next shortest thing is one of the other elevators and ailerons. Um, then after that, it's the speed controller and the S bus actually has plenty on it. Okay. What's amazing is I seem to be able to stick it back down with the same stuff and it's fine. Like that's now not moving. Um, that's fairly incredible. GPS cable is long enough. Uh, here we need to just look at extending the elevons and the throttle thing the bob. Um it actually is gonna take as long as I thought it was. Hmm. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, I'll try and find three short ish extension leads and we can then get that wired up. But uh, be back progress next. has been made. So one thing that I really do need to say when working on this model is you need a like a brand new sharp knife. So I've been using a scalpel um, to cut the foam away. Let me try and sort of rotate and pull. Make sure you miss the flight controller in front. You can see some of the foam I've had to cut away in there. I ended up just connecting all the wires. I found some extension leads. I disconnected them and they were taken down there until recently. Uh, just to keep them out of the way, so I didn't accidentally nick any of the cables with a knife. I've used some new foam to stick that to the front because it did come undone. I thought, oh, sorry, let's do it properly. Save accident. Um, first, I'm getting braver with this and slowly wandering further away. Um, so, the real next things that we need to do is apply some Velcro to this. I'm going to just use my little scraper here to try and. a bit more glue off and as I say when you're putting this in you need to kind of put it in at an angle and as it's going in push it flat that would be one of my videos without an interruption um, so uh, yes yeah, so you do have to sort of rotate and pull oops to get in and out um, I'm gonna put some velcro in across here you can see that slant that I was talking about before and all of these are just going to have to sort of be bundled together, probably tie them together, and you have to sort of put the battery under them and get them through. Uh, the S bus cable may or may not need an extension now, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll see. Technically, I don't need this control box anymore, I'm going to keep it in form now. I'll eventually probably take it out, out of the way. Um, but in terms of balance, and I know that things are not in the final spot, so we're going to have to change things slightly once it's there, but we can. It's a little bit tail heavy at that, but we can move it forward. Good. So I'm going to reconnect everything up and do some sort of final sorting out, and hopefully we're not far off the finished result. Okay, so I believe we have the finished article. Which, if we, I, I, I sort of fingers are just on the front of the little splodge. It balances just about perfectly. Now, if I show you the inside, I apologise for your eyes, because <laughs> it's a bit of a mess now. Uh, trying to get all these cables to the front is a nightmare, and I've also got these bulk of extra connectors, which doesn't really help. Um, so getting the battery out is interesting, uh, especially because this one, I have uh, sort of labelled them up slightly wrong. So some of them have the cables coming out that side, and some of them coming out the front. Um, not great. Oh, and I put Velcro in there, which I may regret, uh, but what I have is the patent pending battery spatula of removal. doesn't help that there's that lip behind it, but what you can do, which you cannot see at all, is if you lift it up slightly, I can get this underneath between the two sets of Velcro, which I know you can't see, but believe me, that's what's happening. There you are, you can sort of see it now, and then that helps you and slide it out. Pulling the cables, which I don't like, but never mind. Especially because I know that I've put the, those together. And there we are, it is now out. Congratulations to me. Um, so is it brilliant? Um, 
No, you've got to sort of recheck your cables every time. But it'll do, and it'll fly, it balances. We'll see what it is like. Um, again, depending on how things go, as you can tell, I've now got a bubble wrap, a uh, bubble wrap, a uh, uh, rubber band. How do I get bubble wrap from rubber band? It's like I got them slightly back to front, but weirdly. Um, Told it on now because yeah, I have to really squish this canopy on top. Um, what I might do is remove the security clips and then super glue the connectors together so that it's thinner. Uh, another thing is that adding these cable ties may have been a mistake. I was, I was trying to make things look neat, but I think if anything, they've made the situation worse. So I've decided I'm going to cut them off without snipping a wire, which will be a challenge. But there we are, now they're, now they're loose, they might actually be easy to get out, the, get out the way, which yes they are, and then move forward. Um, well no, I'm happy with that. We will put the canopy back on with a rubber band, and then this is something that can now go back in the shed. And I can update my spreadsheet of much information to say that it's now needs a test flight. So just launching it and wondering why is this all over the place. Um, but yeah, I've also put Velcro on the back of all of the bags. So that's it. Everything is done for this. It's a fairly short video, I think. It's not going to be too long to get this done. So I know some of the long recording. I plan on speeding up. Fingers crossed I did, otherwise that's been a bit awkward. But never mind. Um, but no, that is that. Uh, I think the next one I'm probably going to get up will be the drift to try and fix that if I can get in the shed. Um, but yeah, so that's done. That's ready to go back in the shed, all sorted. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. It helps me a lot. Or to subscribe, helps me out a lot. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to uh, leave them in the required position and then we will, I will uh, answer them if they make sense or are interesting because firstly most of them are not most of them are just rabble and pornography um but anyway thank you for watching i'll see you all in the next one bye bye i must remember to put the battery remover o somewhere safe i'll see you in the next one bye bye